Wagwan, well, my people, what's poppin'? It's your boy David by TR Jasani, and I'm back with another video. How are you doing today? Um, today's video is going to be a question and answer, just like the title says. So, I posted some links on my social media for people to send me um, anonymous questions that they would like to see me answer on this channel. So, I posted some on Instagram, I posted on Snapchat, and then on my WhatsApp. I got quite a number of interesting questions and so I'm here today to answer those questions. So without talking much, let's get right into the video. Our first question says, what's the dumbest thing you've cried about? I think the dumbest thing I've cried about is maybe a character dying in a movie or something. Because most of the time the, the story of some movies kill off certain characters too early or too sad i think yeah that's the dumbest thing i've cried about the second question says who do you think has it harder men or women <laughs> this question uh, i would say men because i am not in women's shoes i can't tell what they go through or not but i can tell what uh, men go through because i'm in a man's body so the thing is that society makes us think that men are invulnerable, men are supposed to be strong, men are so, not supposed to be sensitive to certain things and all that. So because of that, like men tend to like hide a lot of things and then just sh uh, shrug off a lot of things that are really bothering you, Bob. Yeah, so I think men have it harder than women. And then what job would you pick if money didn't matter? <laughs> what job would I pick if money didn't matter? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Every, every, uh, every job that I would like to pursue would be because I love that job and not because of the money. And so the career I am pursuing now is because I love that career. And not because of how much money it would fetch. Because if I think about all the other alternatives I can have aside what I'm pursuing now, those alternatives are because I love them and not because of uh, their monetary value. So I think I can't answer this question. And then what's something you love now that you would never have imagined liking in the past? I think I love my peace now. At first, say three, four years ago, being alone would be so hard for me because I always, because I'm an extrovert, I always needed people around me to talk to, to like vibe with and all that. But nowadays, I like, there are days when I don't want to speak to anybody. Like, I don't want even anybody to speak to me. Like, you understand? And back then also, maybe when I'm on social media and I see a comment that, uh, that doesn't resonate well with me i will respond and if it needs offense i will make it offensive but nowadays i i i see comments like that and i'm like well just let it pass so i think yeah i love my peace now more than i did in the past and the next one is lose the ability to speak or love <laughs> lose the ability to speak or love love should go to the trash I, if, if i can't speak how will i be here now i need my ability to speak please the next one says be the only person alive or never be born at all hmm. i'm alive now so i can i can talk about the experiences of living and and I'll say I'll be I'll be the only person alive because there are so many things I want to experiment. There are so many things I want to do, so many things I want to try. But the presence of other people are, are like the major obstacles why I am not doing those things. So yeah, I'll be the only person alive. All of you should just. <laughs> the next one says, "Would you ever get with me?" I don't know who you are. And so I can't answer this question. How do I accept to get with you when I don't know you? I'm sorry. You have to come with your face. Because this was uh, this was from an anonymous sender. So if you want to know the answer, please come into the DMs. Do you use... Pr 
pronouns. I don't know what you mean. If you mean do I use pronouns for myself, then yes. I use he, him because I'm a male. What if I told you I liked you? I don't know. It depends on who is saying it. So, <laughs> that's why it's also to the side. What's your favorite sport? I'm not really a sports person, but I enjoy watching athletics. Yeah, Olympics, that stuff. Those gymnastic stuff, swimming, yeah, those stuff. But the the normal ones like football and stuff, I, I casually watch a, a bit, but I'm not really a, a charismatic fan or something like that. <laughs> the next one says, Virgin. Yes, yes, Virgin. Yes, I'm a Virgin. The next one is, is like a follow-up to the Virgin. It says, what's your body count? Zero. My body count is zero, okay? Next one says, now this this question, I have a lot to say about this question. This one says, Why are you like that? Why you they see your body? Chill. The person even added chill. And I have to say that this is not the first time I'm receiving this type of message. And over the years or over the time of the past, I love posting links for good semi-anonymous messages to just see what people think about me and all that. And I have received this same question in this same format more than five times. So I have concluded that it comes from one person who who thinks my my how I express myself or how I, how I am is a way of me showing that I am I am too known or something. And seriously i don't i don't know what to tell you you can also see your body because it's your body this is my body so i am seeing my body so and don't send me this thing again i beg you <laughs> the next one says how old do you want to be when you get married is that is there a specific age for marriage i don't know i want to get married at the right time when i find the right person and I think I'm in the right position to get married. So if that happens at 50 years, that's fine. If it happens at 25, fine. If it happens at 30, I'm good. Your crush is... Do I have a crush? Maybe. <laughs> uh, my crush, my crush, my crush, my crush. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a crush now. <laughs> Next one is, this is not a question, it's a fact. You're a big man in the making. Don't waste time on little things. Little things, I love that. Thank you for, for encouraging me that I am a big man in the making. That's like, that's fact, right? Everybody knows that I'm a big man in the making. Everybody knows. Is it a lie? No. Because yeah, I'm a big man in the making. Just give it time. So I shouldn't waste time on little things. I tried to ask this person like what he meant by little things, but because it was also from an anonymous sender, I couldn't reach the person. I posted like a follow-up question. Oh, what's the little things you were talking about? But I didn't get a reply. So I don't know the little things you are talking about, but Thank you for telling me that I am a big man in the making and so I should focus on bigger things. I get that message. Thank you so much. This one says, who are you trying to get with? I'm not trying to get with anybody. Like, as I said earlier, I'm loving my peace now. Like, I want to be alone. <laughs> I don't need anybody now, at least, because there are so many things. I'll talk about that in another video. Why I want to be single now. Why I'm not ready for a relationship now. That will be in another video. So, the answer to that question is I'm not trying to get with anybody. Okay? Anybody. The next one says, Sup, bro. I'm good. What about you? The way you wrote it means it, it looks like you're a guy. So, what's up, bro? What's happening? Well, go on. Are you talking to anyone? No. I'm not talking to anyone. No. <laughs> As I said, I'm in love with my peace. 
I am not talking to anyone. Please. Okay? I'm single. What will you say if I asked you on a date? I'll go. Yes. We going on a date doesn't mean we are going to become something after the date. We're just going on the date to have a conversation. And as talkative as I am, I wouldn't pass an opportunity to talk to someone. So yeah, if you asked me on a date, I would go. Next one says, I miss you. I don't know who you are, but there are a lot of people I also miss. So if you're one of them, I definitely miss you back. And thank you for missing me. That shows that I, I am important to you. Yeah, you, you, you. I, I have some impact in your life. Thank you for missing me. This one says, I like you. I like you too, okay? As far as you like me. I like you too. The next one says, are you flirtatious? No. No, I am not. I say what I want to say straightforward. I I, I am not flirtatious. That's just the end. Heard you can cook. True? Yes, very true. I can cook. I can cook. The people around me can testify. When I cook for you, chef's kids. Perfect. Like, I'm such a good cook. And I didn't really learn from anywhere. So, I believe it's a talent. Like, when I cook for you, when I cook for you, I clap for me. Yes, I'm a good cook. But I, I don't know how to cook everything. But once I know how to cook, you love it. So... The next one is our final question. It says, would you go for personality or looks? Now, what I search for in a partner, the first thing I search for in a partner doesn't fall between these two things, personality and looks. That's not what I look out for first. What I look out for in a partner first is mentality, how you think. That is like, that is the, the deal breaker for me. As far as you don't think like every other regular person, you don't think like every other person, check, in the right way, in the right way. You don't think like everybody, but you think in the right way. Not, you don't think like everybody and you're a maniac. No, 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 no. So like, that's a deal breaker. So if I was making, let's say a pyramid or a list or a hierarchy of the things I look out for and based on how important they are, I think, um, mentality will be up there how you think up there communication how you communicate if you have the ability to to bring out everything that you feel or think in a way that i can also understand perfect like i'm taking you to go see my mother like no 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 debate because sometimes i i listen to how i listen a lot even though i also talk a lot i listen a lot like I listen to people like I know what you're trying to say, but you are not saying it well. And then it just puts me off. So if you know what you want to say and you are saying it rightfully and I understand it, I love you for that. And after communication, and then maybe personality, and then maybe looks, it might be different for you, but that's you, and this is my list. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as fast as that was, we have come to the end of today's video. This was a little question and answers with me, David Barati Aljasani. If you also want to ask me a question, I think I would post another link for people to ask me a question on my social medias. So, you can reach me on, I think, TikTok on cloud.9 underscore. I think I'll put it here. And then on Snapchat, it is cloud underscore 921. And then on Instagram, it is 9 dot is a dot hybrid underscore. 9 is a hybrid on Instagram. I think I'll, I'll put all of them here. So you can follow me there, add me there. And whenever I post the link or post that I need questions, you ask me a question you want to see me answer on this channel thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video share to your friends and family so that we grow this channel leave me a comment also of questions you want to see me answer next time 
and then subscribe subscribe if you have not subscribed please subscribe turn on the post notification so that next time i post a video you are one of the first people to know about it thank you so much peace